it started with social studies. They really gave me a chance. Um, as a young person, I had never been a classroom teacher, um, they, but I showed a lot of interest in assisting with a major project that their students do in eighth grade called National History Day. Um, and I really owe that to giving me the confidence and the courage to collaborate then with other um, groups, whether it's language arts or science, um, or even some of our elective courses. Um, and so I really, I owe a lot of the success that I had to them kind of giving me that chance to step in and take control of the, the curriculum and, you know, say that library media was here to help with research skills um, because that was something that some of the teachers that were um, involved in the, um, in the project were a little unsure of. And so I became that person that was like, don't worry, I've got it and I'll support you and I'll take some of the load off. Um, and that's really been kind of the motto was, you know, I tried to find where different curriculum standards crosswalked with library media skills and standards. Um, and that was where I really tried to find those moments to help um, and to support. And I found that's where I really got the most traction. But it started with actually with social studies. Um, at so my National History Day and you, you supported them. Give me some a tangible picture of what that support looked like. Okay, well it evolved greatly. Um, the first year, because I was new and I was just trying to sort of see what would work and um, new to teaching myself, that we started primarily with just what's the difference between primary and secondary sources and what resources are available through Pinellas County Schools um, and even a little bit broader to help students identify sources that are um, important for their projects. Um, and so that was really how it started. But by the time I left, um, I mean, last year we were doing meditation before each of our classes and I taught four days a week over a six week period because we had four different teachers teaching that particular course that offered the project. Um, and so each day was kind of a different instructor, but we added in sort of that, me that mental health aspect to it because a lot of the feedback that we'd gotten from students over the years was how stressed they felt during the project. Um, and so we tried to find a different little mental health piece at the start to give them a strategy to put in their toolbox um, as they were working on their projects. Um, and I would say, you know, once I found sort of my strive and what was important and what, what was able to uh, be communicated to the students, then I was able to sort of evolve and like I said add that that mental health piece um, to make sure that we were looking after our students and um, sort of how they were feeling as they were going through the process because it was a really huge grade for them um, and a lot of stress and something a lot of them had never done before to that extent um, but then I also added in some mo multimodal um, activities where they weren't just sitting and listening to the information or you know, just working in pairs. I had them standing up. I had them physically moving to different parts of the teaching area that I had to indicate that they understood or did not understand what I was teaching. Um, and so I tried to appeal to different learning styles as well by the time, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here. So up to that point, that was really, um, that was kind of where it evolved to was that mental health piece plus the multimodal.